Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am still sitting in the 2015 Tesla Model S 85D. Um, I had planned on getting rid of this because we sold it on cars and bids and the buyer was going to pick it up here in three days. Um, I went to do a factory reset on this thing and as soon as it factory reset, we started getting battery fuse replacement errors on the screen. So it had been sitting for about a month, hadn't been driven, but I think what kicked it off was that factory reset. So check this out, guys. Battery fuse replacement required, okay to drive, schedule service immediately. So not sure if you guys are familiar with that, but uh, there's all kinds of stuff out on the internet about battery fuse replacements on these older Teslas. And um, this one I thought had already had it done because I hadn't been getting any notifications. It's already 10 years old. So I thought we uh, lucked out there, but uh, nope, it needs replaced. So I had to tell the, uh, the buyer that I'm taking it in for service and we're gonna get that battery fuse replaced. So he'll be good to go on that. But uh, other than that, I think this thing's ready to get out of here. So um, I'm going to take you guys along for uh, the ride to Urbandale, Iowa, which is 200 miles away, guys, um, to the service center. I called my local service center, which is about 100 miles away in Council Bluffs, Iowa, and they were booked out until the 27th of May. So that was actually, that's three and a half weeks from now. And I was like, I cannot wait that long. So I called uh, Urbandale and they're like, I can get you in tomorrow. So we're going an extra 100 miles um, to get this thing replaced tomorrow. So come with us for the ride and we'll uh, maybe do a little walk around here at the uh, Urbandale Tesla dealer. Good morning, guys. We are on the road here to Urbandale, Iowa Tesla service. Um, we left about 6 a.m. here. We got about a three hour, 20 minute drive with one stop for charging for about 15 minutes. So we're gonna get this thing in for service, get that battery fuse replaced, and hopefully we're good to hand this off to its new owner. So since this uh, car is no longer under warranty, they do not cover that battery uh, fuse free of charge, unfortunately. So um, the uh, estimate uh, with tax and everything is $320 for this battery fuse fix. So. I'll show you the uh, the invoice here at the end after everything's done, assuming they don't have to do anything else to it. So. Well guys, we made it to Urbandale Tesla here. We just dropped off the Model S. We're gonna do a little walk around here, see what cars they got on the lot, and then we'll go in and check out the, uh, the showroom and uh, wait for this repair. Well guys, they have a row of cyber trucks. Not surprising. I'm sure they'd let me take one home today if I wanted to. Let's see what we got there. That's a $90,000 all-wheel drive, so. Been here a while by the looks of it. These ones, I don't know if they're demos or what. Maybe that one's in for service because they're pretty dirty. But you really can't buy Teslas from the dealer here in Iowa. So they don't have a lot on the lot here, guys. Just a lot of demos, ones you can drive. You can uh, do leases in Iowa, though. So if you wanted to order one up and have it delivered here on lease. Why don't we just head inside and check out the showroom here, see what goodies they have on the showroom floor. They have a new Y. I have not seen one of these in person, so. New Y Cybertruck. Let's check this guy out. It's a light bar right here. It's pretty cool looking. There's a lot of open space back here now since they don't have the plate up there. It's kind of some getting used to. Side of this new Y, guys. 
it's crazy little things like this. Just the ambient lighting sets it off. It looks so good. And I do like the front end and the rear end. The rear taillight setup looks pretty cool. But otherwise, it's, you know, still standard Model Y fare in here. Um, they do have the ventilated seats compared to the previous one, so that's nice. Um, there's the old Cybertruck. Gotten to drive one of these a couple times now. I'm glad we didn't buy one, though, because the depreciation and... They're just becoming your everyday weird looking truck out on the road. At least you can get the tax credit on now, guys. All right, guys, we're picking up the uh, Model S after service. So it took about an hour and 20 minutes from drop off to pick up. And on the screen here, I'm gonna show you the actual service summary. So it just says techno technician inspected the vehicle and verified a high voltage battery alert was present. Alert was caused by the need for a fuse as indicated. Um, let's see what else it says. The technician replaced the pyrotechnic fuse for the high voltage battery. The alert was no longer present, confirming the repair was successful. So, total there was $311.48 when it's out of warranty. Um, thanks to you guys who watch my channel and have used my Tesla referral link. I had some uh, Tesla credits, so I used those credits, so I did not have to pay for this. So that was nice. So, we are going to head back for home now, and uh, I think we should be all good here. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you uh, want to uh, stick around for any more Tesla content, please like and subscribe, and have a good one.